So what does it take to become a successful oil painter? That's the question we try to answer in this January 2016 issue of Utah Stories where we go in the studios of various oil painters in Utah. Well, we visited one of the very best oil painters in Utah. He taught at Utah State University for 32 years. It turns out more of his students ended up being successful oil painters in their own right than any other professor who taught in recent history at any university in Utah. We're doing this story because we went to the, the best galleries in Park City and we just said, give us the names of your top artists. They just said, we absolutely have to do you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, because he's uh, a lot of the, the people that hit their gallery and all yeah. the other galleries are, are Glenn students. Yeah, it's, students. it's a lot of fun to, like we go to Jackson, go through some of those galleries there and there's a bunch of my students in just about every gallery. and Same way in Park City. And That's great. That's got to make you feel proud. It does. You know, that's <laughs> sort of like is fun. part of your family. And not what you would think a studio is. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't have any preconceived <laughs> ideas. <laughs> it's. It's. If you've been to Mike Malm's studio, you're going to be really disappointed in ours. <laughs> Only uh, taught, but uh, I for a while ran a graphic services and, and these are some silk screen posters that we ran. Oh wow, I've seen that one of Mark Twain. Oh. I can't remember where I've seen it, but maybe in my school. John, as you go down the stairs that you can see him. And we'd put him up and then we'd get complaints from the people we were doing them for because they'd say, kids are swiping them faster than we can put them up. <laughs> Well, this so, has a lot of light, wow. Uh, this is Glenn's side of the room, and this is my side of the room, and <laughs> we paint side by side. So. Wow, that's neat. God, look at all those brushes. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them are worn out, but once in a while you need a worn out brush just to give you some organic Yeah, strokes. you might compare her palette to mine. What's well, the difference? You'll see. Well, okay. I've got a paper towel sitting there because I was organizing brushes, but... She cleans her palette every time. I clean my palette every day before I start painting. And you don't? I don't. And he doesn't. I don't have the patience. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty big difference. Look at that big mass of... Notice yeah. it's like a hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a philosophy about it. I don't know how he finds the color. You know, I, I learned that, that uh, the color of your painting sort of matches the color of your palette. Mm -hmm. And if, if once your painting gets going, it, it's easier for me to match color and value because I, I, it, I know what, what it's kind of going to look like when I put it on the canvas. I might even put in a couple of strokes. Oh, my paint is dry. Find it, since this isn't the last painting I worked on. You know, these are kind of like paintings from life. Yeah, that's neat. So this guy modeled for you at a... Yeah, he was a... In his class. Yeah, he was a student. Uh, yeah. hmm. And Glenn's student, you could either pay the model fee... Or model. Or if you were poor like me, you could model. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I always modeled my fee. Was it was it always draped model, or did you do undraped, or? Well, occasionally we had undraped. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's a great one. Mostly yeah. we. Uh, I should have brought. I had a couple, got a bunch of them of my son. Most of the kids were taking life drawing, so they they had the opportunity to work from undraped to other. Kids were just terrific. They. I'd, I'd be working on these benches and they'd just sit all the way around me, the whole class. And I'd pick one of them to paint and paint him and they'd say things like, boy, you're really good, but it doesn't look like him. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are brutally honest. They're really, <laughs> they, they were so honest compared to other people 
didn't worry about offending you, but they were the, the most complimentary too. I mean, mm -hmm. they just, they loved the colors and they loved to watch it happen and and they'd be quiet. You know, they'd just sit there for an hour, hour it's, and a half and just, you wouldn't hear a peep. It's like a mm. magic show for them. Yeah. yeah. And then one class would leave it's and just, another one would come in and I'd probably do about four, four or five of those a day. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. That's neat. And when you go to our son's, class um our son always had to be one of one, them. he just insisted he had to be one of the models so we uh, have all these paintings <laughs> <laughs> of our son and yeah, uh, i used him a, a lot up in my classroom he's he mexican mm -hmm. and he'd get up there on the stand and he'd start telling all our family secrets <laughs> to my class <laughs> <laughs> so i had to quit using him no he just got tired of doing it because i I, he was such a good model. Would you be able to do a, uh, or have time to do a little demo for me? Right now? Yeah. I, 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 oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. You don't have a stool or something? To... Yeah, that's a good Do you guys listen to any music while you paint, or is it usually just quiet? We usually listen to the news. Do you? <laughs> We figure by the end of the day, we, we get the gist of the news. Because a lot of times we're blocking it out because we're concentrating. Mm -hmm. We used to have our stereos broken, so <laughs> we would listen to Christmas music this time of year, but uh, we can't when it's broken. Yeah. Jay, huh? Yeah, it was just sitting there. So you're just blocking out shapes? Is yep. Santa Claus, that's who this is. <laughs> it's appropriate. There's a couple of the mountain men that model at Artist Drive that, that do Santa Claus in December, wherever they live. So does this guy actually live like a mountain man? No. He just just has all the gear and mm -hmm. dresses up. Yeah, a lot of them just do reenactment type things, you know, or They do the Fort Bridger, they'll go to Fort Bridger for the rendezvous there and, mm -hmm. and uh, do just those sorts of events. They don't live that way. They have real jobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's much harder to actually live that way. Right. One of yeah. them is, uh, raises Black Angus cows uh, in Nebraska, doesn't he, Charlie? Yeah.
looks like that dog's going at it again. We have a neighbor who's, when both of them work, they're gone all day, every mm -hmm. day. All day, every day, while yeah. they're gone, their dog. Oh, jeez. Does that. And so what's one of the reasons we run the TV all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I feel bad for our neighbors. Our dogs will go out in the morning and they just almost always bark. Luckily, it's not too early in the morning, but they just love to go out and bark. <laughs> Need to get a background in there somewhere. That's his magic brush, I call it. <laughs> How old is that brush? <laughs> Very old. He never cleans it. So. I never do. Really? So it's very organic. Well, I, I do it if it gets uh, <laughs> full of... It gets some very nice organic strokes and shapes. Yeah. Because the bristles go every which way. Mm -hmm. So it's good to keep old brushes. Yeah, yeah, it is. I was just reading a blog on Facebook by an artist about old brushes. How they give you nice things that new brushes can't give you. It's nice to have both. Sometimes you get some stuff with an old brush you can't get with a nice chiseled, flat, straight mm -hmm. brush. You realize I'm doing this pretty fast. Yeah, well it's looking already really great. Who would you say was your greatest influence when you were learning to paint? Uh, probably uh, two guys, Harrison Grattage, who taught at Utah State, and Don Putman, who taught at uh, Art Center in Los Angeles. I've heard the name Don Putman before. I then worked at Thicol for two years to earn the money to go to Art Center College in, in L.A. And oh, really? was there for, what, two years? Yeah. Never well, I had, had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I visited that school, man. My friend was. I was thinking of going to the. Uh, uh, the, the Disney College. I can't even remember oh. which one. The. Chouinard's. No. What was it called? Chouinard. Anyhow, my friend visited the art center, and I visited the. The one that a lot of Disney animators go to. I can't believe I can't remember. School, uh, Pasadena oh. Center of oh, Arts. Yeah. Yeah. Pasadena. Yeah. And, um, well, Art Center's in Pasadena now, too, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were both there. Mm. Well, when I went to school, it was on 3rd Street. Art uh, Center it was on 3rd Street. Glenn's got some students that work for... Well, one they used to work for Disney, but now they work for... Uh, what's that other one? Uh, DreamWorks. No. The one that just that did cars. Oh, Pixar, yeah. Pixar, yes. Yeah. Pixar became kind of Disney. They oh, were, it did? Yeah, the we did a story on it actually. It's a guy from Utah who co founded Pixar. And now he's the president of Disney Animation. Hmm. His name's Ed Catmull. had a couple of students that's worked for one of them even did the what movie was that that old oh the voiceover yeah uh, yeah one of them actually was a voice in uh, what movie was that that a little chipmunk I think it was yeah don't get old. Your memory goes away. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of big name actors in the show, and he outdid them all. <laughs> hmm. Mark Walton. Yeah. Can't remember the name of the movie though. It's a little animated movie. With a chipmunk in it. Yeah, I don't keep. Yeah. Keep track of them. They're all computer computer animation now. 
but I think they still rely on traditional artists a lot. Well, you know, a lot of Glenn would get phone calls from back when, well, I'm sure they're still doing the video games, but when they first started doing the video games, they'd get phone calls from the people doing that, and they'd want his students, because his students could draw, mm -hmm. you know, out of their heads. Yeah. They didn't have to rely on photographs or... They didn't have to see it first, they could just draw it. And, uh, so he had a lot of these students that went into that kind of art. Hmm. That did artwork for video games and those kinds of things. Would you say the majority of your best students stayed in, in the art world? Yeah, I think our percentage of uh, people that stayed in art was really high, even compared to schools like Art Center. Yeah, mm. We figured it to be about 80% that stayed in art. In fact, I figured we were better than Art Center. That's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Cal Arts, that's what I'm thinking of. That was the school oh, I checked yeah, the in. Disney bought. Yeah, basically, it, it was just a way to train, train kids to be, become animators. I think they bought uh, Chenards too, but I'm not sure, sure. Which was too bad. They ruined it. It was a pretty exciting school. So you're obviously pretty loose at this stage. You I just, am, yeah. I'm you're just loose. trying to, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like he's popping out of the canvas now. I'm a loosey goosey guy. <laughs> he's a very loose painter. I can tighten it up. I can, it's, it's easy to go from loose to tight. It's hard to go from tight to, to loose for some reason. It's too bad you didn't get Harrison Gradich before he passed away. It'd have been, it'd have been good to get on this Utah Stories thing. Yeah, I feel like we got to do this well. Everybody's people, still alive. yeah, people like Glenn <laughs> are still around, and my um, my teacher at the community college, who was amazing oil painter, uh, his stuff is in galleries in Santa Fe too. But he only taught for a couple of years, and I was just fortunate enough to have him. And his name's George Allen, and he does mostly kind of still life and figures. And but um, yeah, he just he. I mean, Gittins had probably two or three dozen great students who went on to become really famous and well known in their own right. I always wanted to take a class from Gittins. I did too. I almost did, but people said, it was, I think he's laughing. For Randall? We kind of knew each other a little bit. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He just had a show about six months ago. And he'd gone to Paris and came back with a bunch of paintings and... Trevor Southey just passed away. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's part of what led me to think I'd start doing this. Instrument. He passed away quite a while ago, but he was quite the watercolor. Oh, he was. All these guys that do watercolors mm -hmm. around here were all taught by him. He, he wouldn't, uh, he'd demonstrate in class, but he'd never do the kind of stuff I wanted to see him do. He'd do all these tricky dicky things. And well, he was heavily influenced for quite a few years by Chen Chi, which was sort of a Chinese technique. Yeah, that was mm. too bad. And then he liked to use the uh, Japanese tissue paper technique for his demos, didn't he? Yeah. But when he'd just sit down and watercolor, wow, that was great. Mm. Are there still some really great professors at Utah State? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been I retired? I say no. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. collapsed his illustration program. They don't even teach illustration. Illustration. They you're, teach computer. You're kidding. They don't even teach it. No. They don't even teach it. Wow. They collapsed his program and they collapsed John Anderson's program. For what reason? Jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I think I don't know a lot of you just get up and just come look over Glenn's shoulder and watch him for a while and go oh that's how you that's how you solve well yeah that, you know? yeah it, the classes I I took too they're just life drawing and you it's all about the technique I mean in, in ten minutes you can mm -hmm. pump out a nice little piece and but you can't really get it unless you can see somebody doing it yeah it's yeah. a lot it's a lot faster way to learn mm -hmm. i mean you, yeah, you can get it on your own but it takes a lot longer sooner or later mm -hmm. you got to be able to sit down and do it yourself yeah you know? yeah and yeah. then you and then you just look at the painting in the gallery and you're and you're just thinking how did they how did they do that how did they accomplish that yeah because i mean you with computers and projectors and all that, you kind of imagine there's probably quite a few people who use those, but there are a lot. That oh use yeah, them. even even. As a matter of fact, the the art market's really getting flooded because you don't have to know how to draw anymore. Yeah, really. You can just project, or people now people are painting over photographs. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they it's always just, did. It's actually, disgusting. <laughs> once, once the camera, you know, came into being. Glenn and I are purists. It's like, no, we don't, <laughs> you don't project. And you definitely don't paint over a photograph. Oh, well, I would never do that. Well, actually, I there was a guy in New Zealand that was a photographer, and I colored some of his photography. You know, there was an old way of doing that. Well, that, that was an old technique of, yeah. Oh, where you'd put in the color when yeah, it's black it, and white. It, and, yeah. yeah. I mean, they, a lot, that was... A lot of people did that, but yeah. that's not painting. Mm -hmm. You don't pass that off as a painting. You pass that off as a colored photograph. Yeah. But it's great to see, like, the best galleries in Park City, they know what good art is. I mean... I hope so. There, <laughs> there's a few people in their art, art, their galleries that they were touting, and I was like, well, that's not, not what I consider, like, really awesome. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Glad I walk in there and just shake our head and go, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, one guy was like, Oh, have I got the gal for you? She's really young, but she is so talented and great and and I just he shows it to me and I was like I'm glad you think so. <laughs> <laughs> if you can sell her work, that's quite a talent. Yeah. <laughs> and nowadays well, artists, some artists are doing jaclay prints and they'll go in and just put a little oil paint on there. And well, that's what, um, who's that, Thomas Kincaid? 
Yeah. He's got a factory of people who just, yeah. it prints out and then they'll put a few brush strokes and, and I then ship it out. And I think that is so dishonest. I just, uh, it makes me crazy. Yeah. So, <laughs> I think Glenn and I might be the only true purist left in the, <laughs> in the art world that actually draw it from just like that. Yeah. And like I say, you couldn't project it as fast as he drew that. No, there. you sure couldn't. You know, so and you just see it pop out of the canvas slowly. There's a landscape painter I like a lot. And she does really well. She's a Utah painter. And, uh, Come to find out, she projects a landscape. <laughs> no kidding. I'm going, really? <laughs> you gonna project a landscape? You challenge her about it, and she says, uh, we do it the old-fashioned way. It's like, it's a, it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> so onto her canvas, and then she just paints it from there, huh? Uh-huh. She'll take a photograph and... Projected onto our canvas, you know. I like it a lot easier when it's just a little drier. Do you ever do workshops or no. things like that? No. I've done this. I've done the teaching thing. 32 years was enough. Yeah. <laughs> now Created I just all these to... monsters I have to compete with now. <laughs> <laughs> now he just wants to paint. Yeah, we did some stories on these guys up in Helper, Utah. This guy used to be a professor at the U named David Dornan. You heard of him? I've heard the name, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, so he and a couple other buddies bought these super cheap buildings right on the main street of Helper. And that town just keeps drying up more and more every year because it's all carbon, it's all coal, coal mining. Coal. Yeah. And they, um, so all these artists are just buying up all the buildings. Oh, really? That's really Turned cool to go up there. Turned it into an artist colony. Yeah, and they're they are some good, talented painters. Oh, well, good. Yeah. But it's like I think there's now about fifteen artists with studios up there. And That's the nice thing about being an artist in today's world is, you can live wherever you want to. Yeah. You know, but with, you know, FedEx and overnight, and, uh, you can just ship or and images. We enter shows now all online, you know, digital, digitally online. Really? Huh. Yeah. There's, I don't think, there's, 
The only show that, that you actually have to physically submit a painting to anymore is Springville. Oh, really? And we don't, we quit entering for that reason. We can't give up six hours round trip to take a painting down and mm -hmm. come back. And so we, we. That's probably one of the biggest ones, though, right? Yeah, in, the state in Utah. Of Utah. Yeah. In Utah. So we, we, wor we worry more about the national shows. We never that. sell in Utah anyway, yeah. except, except up at Park City. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just quit entering that show for that reason. And actually, Park City has been my best gallery over the years. Well, I was glad to see, like, the mountain trails. They were just, well, there's one guy here who you really have to, <laughs> and it was, that was, your stuff was my favorite that was there. Who were you talking to there? Was it Adam or was it Aaron? Uh, I was originally talking to a gal, and Aaron. then they told Adam, she told Adam and Aaron what I was doing. She was oh. pointing at everybody else, and then, and, and then they said, well, here, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, you've been there a long time, Glenn. Yeah, that mountain, mountain trails. Mountain trails, yeah. Almost since you retired. And where are you at in Santa Fe? You're in galleries there too? Yeah, Sage Creek. Oh yeah, that's a great gallery. one. Gallery, yeah. I'm yeah, not right. even sure they're hanging our stuff in Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Well, the last painting I sold, the person who bought the painting contacted me and said that she went in there and asked to see one of my paintings and they had to go get it out of the the storage room. Oh, really? Yeah, so oh. I don't think they've got anything of mine. They might have something of Glenn's hanging, but for now they don't have anything of mine hanging. Mm -hmm. But then that varies. When they have a show, you know, sometimes they'll take down their other artist to, to put up the person they're having a show for. So it varies here and there, mm -hmm. whether you're hanging or not. I don't know. Is that enough? Yeah, that's great. That's that shows how you do it. Yeah. Done pretty quick. I love that background, man. That's his magic brush, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and I gal, this the you didn't do the highlights by using paint. You just use it by using the canvas. You could probably as you worked on it go in and put a little yeah. little paint in there. Is there any paint right, right here? No. That white? Yeah. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, that's great, boy. There's none on that whole side right there. Yeah, that's amazing. How long? I, I can check my. I should have timed it. I didn't time yet. It's. I think it's easily less than twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. Twenty yeah. minutes. You know, I did that one for them. It was a little under an hour. We worked on it. So I worked pretty quick. Yeah. How long would you expect that to be till it's done? I don't know if I if I let it dry. You know, probably another forty-five minutes or so. Yeah. Well, thanks for doing this, boy. I'm kind of demanding sometimes, and well, <laughs> I thought okay. you'll either say yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he always loves to do a demo. Yeah, they're fun. You're sort of under the gun and. Kind of gets you up for it a little bit. I, I can't do them. I can't do them under the gun. They just don't work well. So it's nice that Glenn's there. People call and say, "Oh, I need somebody to do a demo." So let me have you talk to Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like to wake up every day and know that your it's your creativity is driving your uh, your actions and your income every day is that scary or is that fun it's fun it's fun it's a little scary sometimes when yeah. things get tight <laughs> and, 
And it's, you know, people, of course, you've, you've painted, so you kind of know of it. People kind of think that you, it's all talent and just comes out of your hand and, mm -hmm. and it's easy and fun. And it's, it's work, but it's satisfying. And sometimes like that, it's fun. It's fun work. Sometimes mm. it's hard work. Yeah, like that painting I'm doing to the, right there. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Because the photograph they, they give me is so bad. Bad. It's just a flat, ugly photograph. you got to make a painting out of it. Yeah. But when you shoot your own, you can kind of set up the light source. And and for me, it, it, like when I can see a light side and a dark side, that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I get to do all of the the business side of the art world. Mm-hmm. And, the, and I spend pretty much every morning on that, and I hate it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely hate it. Yeah. And I'd lots rather be over here on the easel painting, but it's got to be done. Well, that's kind of what I found with my business. It's yeah. like my magazine's doing better than it ever has. We had an awesome year, but spending all my time on the business mm -hmm. and not doing this, mm -hmm. this is like my only day I've been able to go out and do a story and... Yeah. And I, so you know I, what it's so like. So, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm starting to get jealous of all the writers I've hired who get to go out like more <laughs> often than I do. Who, it is frustrating to, to, to actually have to run the business. Yeah, because you have to worry about paying everybody and the paying ordering, all your bills. and Keeping yeah. track of the inventory and who's got it and, you know, dealing with the email, dealing with the galleries. And, mm -hmm. all, and it, just, it's just, it just, you know, plus keeping all the stuff that you've got to turn into your bookkeeper for taxes and yeah you know it's just it becomes a monster that has to be fed but i it is a monster yeah <laughs> and glenn doesn't do any of that he he just paints <laughs> that's cool because he's computer illiterate <laughs> <laughs> that can come in handy <laughs> well, I, I told her I he taught, uses it well <laughs> i taught all those years it's time for me to <laughs> She doesn't believe it. But. And my comeback to him is, well, you know, when when do I get <laughs> when do I get to just paint? You know? Well, my wife just joined me with my business six months ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then she she's like, okay, I want to be CEO, and I was like, all right, you got it. And I am CEO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then she started bossing me way. around too much, and then I was like, no, you don't get to boss me around. <laughs> Our accountant okay. set it up that way so that we can, uh, so that we can, uh, it just has several advantages. So Glenn is actually my employee. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and you're a corporation? And uh, or are you guys a sole proprietorship? Sole or? proprietorship, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, I pay Glenn wages on the Not last, much. last quarterly <laughs> every year. And, and then it just gives us so many tax advantages. And then she helps me spend it. <laughs> huh. Well, maybe my wife should start paying me instead of the, uh, the other way around. <laughs> Check into it with your accountant. I don't know what the tax advantages are. Hmm. I know one of them was that we could, uh, we could uh, deduct all of our medical expenses, not just a certain percent after you get, I think it's after you get to a certain point, then you can deduct your medical expenses. But